Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, whether it's daytime or evening time where you're at. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I wanted to continue um, the Uncle Tom versus Telling the Truth. So this will be part two. And I want to continue and talk about um, the Uncle Tom syndrome versus uh, black brothers and sisters that may come across just trying to spread the truth. The truth to help our people. Um, you know, I noticed, um, I was listening to one uh, channel when a brother was saying, hey, if you're not from our block, you're not real. Um, you know, you couldn't uh, survive in these streets. Uh, the thing is, once again, the streets, being in the streets um, does not determine your manhood. And it's been far too many times that a brother or sister that has a suit and tie on um, that may have tried to better their life or uh, they don't condone or uh, not participating out in the streets, you know, have been chastised for not doing so and been called a sellout. When we really need to look at the real sellouts, uh, we have people uh, in Hollywood uh, in the entertainment business that um, are getting their checks signed to promote certain images uh, to their own people, uh, images and um, a lifestyle that they know are going to hurt their people only for a check. Okay, so I'm not against anybody uh, making any type of money, but um, we have black celebrities and uh, black entertainers um, out here promoting images of whoredom uh, to our young daughters and uh, this gangster lifestyle, like I said, that they may not be living and it's hurting our people. Um, everyone loves a good entertainer, uh, but it seems like us as a people, we take it to heart a little too much. Okay. There's nothing wrong with bobbing your head. It's nothing wrong with going to a club dancing or whatever you want to do. But, um, that type of lifestyle that you see on TV, it should not be our life. Uh, the type of, like I said, dressing and, um, just the things that you see on TV, that's not a part, or it shouldn't be a part of our lifestyle. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is that as black women, we have a lot of influence, um, not only over our children, but our men. Okay, we can't keep crying and complaining uh, about them going to jail and um, our children growing up without a father and like I said we we have to have um, uh, a guy that makes a thousand dollars per hour um, to twenty thousand dollars a day um, and I'm referring that to illegal uh, drug activities but then be the same one crying that our children don't have a father because they got caught and um, in jail doing uh, very long sentences in jail or in a casket Okay, it's time for us to influence our men and no man likes to be told what to do. So I'm not um, suggesting I'm not suggesting that we're anybody's mother. Okay, but we need to teach our daughters that um, we're looking for a guy that, you know, owns their own business or um, doing something positive with their life or at least has a nine to five job, something, something other than something that's going to leave uh her in a position to have to do um, everything on her own because the man that she chose to have children with is in jail or dead. Um, and plus, like I said, um, especially with the older people, we need to really tell them the truth about the consequences. So this isn't about um, being an Uncle Tom. You know, an Uncle Tom is someone that will sell out their own people for gain, or for kudos or accolades, okay? And it seems like I said is, you know, as a people, we don't want to hear the truth. Some of us do. And that's why it's best to reach out to the youth. Because sometimes as older people, and I'm I'm a little up there myself in age. I mean, I'm in the middle. And, you know, sometimes we get stuck in our ways and we don't want to hear anything else. And like I said, we keep crying about... Um, the way the world sees us, but we want to stay the way we are and think that we're going to get a different change. 
And it's not about conforming or tap dancing or um, anything like that, but it's about corrections within our community that need to change if we're going to make a difference. Okay? It's, it's just so much that we can do. So we've got 50% of of an external problem and then we have 50 percent an internal problem okay we should encourage our brothers and sisters for going to do something with their life they shouldn't be called sellouts we should encourage our children to speak fluent english and that's another thing in the hood i don't know how many times i've heard it and you've heard it Oh, you speak white. What is what is what is really speaking white? Okay, let's get something straight. We're all speaking European English language. If you don't come from Africa or another native language, uh, another native land, you're you're not speaking a native tongue. Okay, you're speaking English. Now, what we fail to realize is what a lot of our brothers and sisters in the hood do is they're speaking English, but they're speaking broken English. So, and another thing is, subconsciously, we're calling our own self dumb if we're saying that speaking white is speaking intelligent. As if to say, the only people that can speak intelligent are white people. So, our place is to speak broken English, whether you realize it or not. And there's nothing wrong with while you in the hood kicking it with your boys and girls speaking broken English, a.k.a. Ebonics or whatever you want to speak. But if you think that you're going to make it somewhere out in this world, whether you like it or not. Like I said, until, you know, one day we own our own country or whatever we're, we're going to do if things don't work out in America. Until we do, we're over here. And don't think that you're going to speak that same talk on the street and get a job with that same type of language just like hispanics they speak uh spanish between each other and then you know when they go in front of other people that speak english they speak english just like um, africans and italians uh they have their own language but when they speak to uh the english those of the people in their cultures that can't speak English, it's called being bilingual. And that's something a lot of us black people need to learn how to do. It's not called selling out. It's called speaking with some intelligence. If you're going to speak on the street, speak on the street the way you want to speak on the street. I wouldn't expect anyone to be in the hood and speak correct English. Okay, out in the block or whatever, or whatever have you. But when you go in here to apply for these jobs... When you're going for business deals, homes, you need to speak correct English. Like I said, it has nothing to do with selling out. Because like I said, we're all speaking English over here. If you don't have a native tongue, we're all speaking European English. But the thing is, there's nothing wrong with mastering the language that we speak. Okay, like I said, we can leave the street talk on the street. Okay, and um, I think that's pretty much it for this um, podcast. I, I just wanted to get that out there. Um, like I said, if we want to make a change, we definitely have to start uh, making those changes. If we want to be seen different, um, you know, when one of us acts up, when one of us acts out, no matter if you like it or not, we're classified together. And a lot of people say, uh, you know, uh, you know, being a uh, black, if, if someone can accept me, you know, for who I am, you know, they don't need to accept me at all, which is true. But as a whole, as black people, there are a lot of things that we can change and we need to stop coming down on each other. If there's other brothers and sisters out here trying to spread the word, we don't need to try to compete. We all have a role in this thing to uplift our people. I don't promote hate. 
I, I don't promote um, any type of violence, um, especially if no one's being violent toward me. I do believe in defending myself, though. Okay, so this is not about um, hating anyone or any specific people. This is about getting it together within our house, within our group of people. This is about being the best that we can be. And if we have other people out here trying to help our people, let's not compete. Okay, the real mission should be uplifting and enlightening our people. It was a pleasure speaking with you all today. Or this evening or this morning, I should say. I hope to talk to you again. If you have any questions, you can reach me at the truth with trinity at gmail.com. If you felt this message, please like or subscribe. Till the next time, love, peace, and take care of yourself.